head's going to die because I don't overcome laziness. And so then I'm working really hard cleaning Raymond's cars. I remember in June and July having Josiah sitting in his car seat while I was outside in the heat. I couldn't stop. You had to get it done in a certain amount of time and do it just right. I just hate all that crap. I always felt like I couldn't do anything right. I couldn't be good enough in the church, and I couldn't be a wife, and I couldn't be a mother. Because he represents God in my life. Acceptance from him is the total goal. And he did prove what happens if you don't do what I say. Well, you lose your wife, lose your all your friends, your family, your job, your place to live. Right before we left, when Keen had had some information that he had gotten about brainwashing the cults, and we're just like, oh my goodness, this is a character description of Raymond Mills and his whole ministry. Raymond just happened to use the Christian faith. Lifton came up with eight criteria through his book, Thought Reform and the Psychology of Totalism, to determine whether or not a group is a cult. I originally did some work with returning prisoners of war in Korea and got a sense of an export version of the process that the Chinese came to call Thought Reform. Robert J. Lifton's study helped us to see that what happened to us was not unique to our church. And we can take that model and overlay it on any situation that has abuse of power. We've treated Buddhists, Hindus, we've treated Orthodox Jews. We don't care about the creed. It's the deed. What happened to them? Right? He called himself an apostle, and he said that covered all five. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, and he could do them all. So, see, he was end all. He was like God, you know. We had people here from over 300 groups. Every last one of them has said what Raymond has said. We and only we have the truth. Karen is my wife Christy's mom. She was very troubled when I met her. When her problems with the kids and finances seemed improved by Raymond, we were all convinced to join the church. Besides answering our spiritual questions, he promised us all our financial needs by getting all the men in the church started on a career in building homes. He paired Christianity with building, so the harder we worked on the job site, the better our chances of making heaven. I did think, but now I feel confused. That's good. That means you're thinking. Let me go on to the next one. You ready for the next one? The world is viewed as black and white, and group members are constantly exhorted to strive for perfection. What the Bible teaches you to be perfect. He was perfect, and he never sinned anymore. Did you ever see him sin? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I am sure. Beating children. Part of what endeared us to Raymond was how well our children behaved in the church. Their behavior sense is a constant reminder of the damage we brought upon them by participating in this program of discipline. I remember the time when John was sitting there and beating Tristan, beating him, and then he looks at Pastor and he's like, you know, in other words, is that enough? It was over saying, yes, Mr. Dwyer. He was two. He couldn't hardly talk. The Davis children, when they were here, they were in bad shape. They weren't in this bad shape. The whip is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they don't have anything to go by. I mean, I get whipped every day for a while. Just for doing one single mistake. It didn't matter what it was. If they even responded wrong, I'd get whipped. I mean, I'm bleeding sometimes. I spanked Sean uh, severely a couple times under Mark and Karen's direction, to be honest with you. He was 11 when he started working with us, and I just went off on him. After some of these beatings, he bled so much, and then the blood dried, and they had to pull those clothes off of this little boy. I was taken when I was 10. I mean, I was wimpy, but that's being a kid. So, I mean, be being a kid is totally stripped from me. I feel like a mother who has allowed her children to be raped by their father. They assume no. But they didn't do that. You didn't know it was that bad. But I still knew it was the space and I knew I remembered that blood and I did something. His dad's standing right next to me. I'm doing this. He's supporting me. And this is part of the program. I felt like I was doing the right thing. Dad is like a servant. He just obeys pastor. He listens to the guy.
devil when his, he thought he's God, and that's what happened. For 10 or 12 years of my life, I've been shaped by Raymond Mills. I'm going to be very much like him. Maybe I'm not the guy for her, because I can't become a totally different person. One thing that cult leaders do is they rip away from you the apple to where there's nothing but the core. Mm -hmm. But the apple can be regenerated. But if I look back on myself and I would say, you know, this is who I was when I was 24, I hate it. I was a mess. I just felt like I looked almost monstrous. And I called my brother up and he told me I should come to church with him. He devoted his life to being Raymond's associate pastor, the dedicated henchman who would keep us all in line. My life became his. I, I was his, bought with the, the, the price of his blood. Whatever God required of me, that was the price to be paid. Discipline your son before his habits are formed and sealed for life. You want to suffer now the beatings you give your children versus them in hell, and you get to see them in hell burning, yeah. and it's your fault. Thou shalt beat him with a rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. There was one on the fire extinguisher, one in the office, mm -hmm. one in the schoolroom, one in the kitchen. You need to know where your stick is. It's this long, and it has like this ball at the end almost, and it's made out of, I think, rubber. Our modern day rod was a thin PVC pipe you can get at Home Depot. Which, if you're in construction, as we all were, are everywhere. That's what it looks like. That's what it keeps your head from slipping around. Raymond's wife, um, Deborah, she was, she spanked me every day if I did not get my rating lessons right. How do you discipline your child through a variety of ways? You beat them. If this is bruised up, go to this side. That's what I was told. You give them with a rod, you give them a few whacks on that nice fat area of their butt. You point out sin on these children, and in the school you point out sin, and you point out sin, you point out fucking sin. Your mother beat you? Yeah, Dora. Skylar would have to run around the church, and she started throwing up, and then I kept having to beat her to make her keep getting up and running. And then she's crawling on the ground, and then I've got the stick, and I keep beating her. You know how they say they beat children and so? stuff? That's what they call love. This was our school room here. Some of the parents had trouble with their children in school. They were problem children. And so we helped them straighten them out. It's just a constant imprinting. Children become symbols for the future. It's as if, if you can create ideal children according to your cultic standards, then you're realizing immortality. So are you continue to train them in the ways of the Lord? Mm -hmm. We thank God that he is healthy. He is the Lord's boy and he's going to serve the Lord all his days. Mm -hmm. Make sure that. Amen. He'll be obedient and loving as normal. I don't think police officers are trained properly. Cults have had so much power in this country. For a little church like Mount Rock Church, it's a microcosm of a much larger problem. When I saw the planes going to the World Trade Center, I thought I could have done that. People who were indoctrinated to do that act are being trained right now for the purposes of people who have power who want to control other people and make them 